Hello everyone, the Senpai Code here. So for today's episode, I figured we'd go over uh, a couple different ways to create fog, as well as if you have a nighttime level and you want to make it harder for people to see, like more dark uh, in the distance, I'll go over that too. So the first way is pretty simple. Just go up to Windows, go to Lighting, uh, and then go to Settings, and then scroll down to Other Settings. Uh, and there is a fog feature here, so if you just click on the uh, check mark box here. As you can see in the distance it kind of went a bit gray. Uh, just turn the density up to whatever you think it would be best. Uh, and then you can also turn the color if you don't want it like this gray and you want it more lighter. Uh, and the, this actually is a pretty high density. Let's go uh, something like this maybe. So let's just jump in game and check what this looks like. So this would be kind of the first way to do fog. Uh, so I'll just run around so that you guys can see it in action here. Uh, so that's the first way. Now if you're doing like a nighttime level and you want it to be actually pretty dark. Now I do have a directional light in the level. Uh, I'm not going to turn that off at the moment. So we can actually turn it black and then hit uh, play. Uh, it's not too black. Oh the density here. Let's uh, turn the density up to 1 and then hit play. So now it's really hard to see in front of you. So if you're trying to do jump scares or stuff like that, uh, you could do something like this. Would work out pretty good, I think. So let's uh, just turn this off. And let's go into the next way to actually create fog. So that would be through a particle uh, effect or a particle system, I should actually say. So let's go up to assets, let's go import package, and then import particle system. So just click on that. So it's going to put it where it puts the characters and everything else, which is going to be in your standard assets folder. So let's go to, uh, it would be in particle systems, and let's go to prefab. And let's just grab and drag this dust storm out here. Uh, and then let's just see what this looks like. So I'm going to zoom out. So first, let's start with the render and just go over this. Um, and everything actually looks all right for the render. Uh, rotation over lifetime, we don't want it to rotate, so I'm going to turn that off. Uh, size over lifetime, I'm going to keep that on. Color over lifetime, I'm going to keep that how it is. Shapes, um, I'm going to keep that how it is. I should actually slow down here so you guys can actually see what's actually in there. Uh, sorry, I'm uh, kind of rushing it. Uh, emissions, we can keep everything like how it is. So let's just go up to the dust storm here. So, let's start with the color. Let's turn this uh, more white. So about like that. Go down to the bottom one here. And let's make it more white also. So I guess I'll start at the top here. Duration, let's go 15. Uh, make sure that the pre-warm is up. What the pre-warm does is if you hold your mouse on it, it'll tell you. Uh, it pretty much basically throws it through like it's been already through one of the loop cycles uh, and it starts it after the first loop cycle, I believe. So start lifetime. Uh, let's go 10. Start speed. Uh, make it constant and then let's so over here on this right side there's an arrow just uh, click on it and make it constant uh, and then let's go ahead and put it at 0 0.5 and try that uh, so we do want the fog to be moving slowly uh, so let's do it at 0 0.5 for now uh, if you think this is too fast for your liking for the fog you can always uh, lower the speed if you want so start size uh, 15 to 25. Uh, I'm gonna keep it like that for now. The rotation, we don't want it to rotate, I don't think. Let's hop in the game here and let's see how this is looking so far. So this is how we have the fog so far. Actually, that looks all right. Actually, rotation too a bit looks all right. Yeah, this, this actually looks all right how it is. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so this is kind of how you do fog. 
So let's just go over and make sure that everything else shape uh, max particle effect. So if you hit play at the bottom here, you can actually see it in effect. Uh, so it's not covering the whole level. You'd have to uh, go ahead and like expand it up. But if you're doing something like that, so if we're trying to actually cover the whole level here, let me just move it here so that it is covering everything. Uh, you might actually want to go just above the level so that it's still going off in the distance. Um, and then if you do something like that, you're going to have to increase the particles, how, how much particles there is. But yeah, so this is just another way to create fog. And it's all this about tweaking everything else. So I do have like uh, start lifetime 30, duration 10, uh, size 15 to 25, and uh, max particles 6,000. And it is covering the whole level. So there is quite a bit of uh, particles here. Uh, there is a way to get it to follow the character. But when you do that, I'll just really quickly go over this. Uh, basically, when you make it follow the character, we can actually size it down a lot. And actually ch change the particles to like, uh, say, 300. So we're actually going to take the dust uh, storm the fog and we're going to attach it to our main camera and just zero it into our main camera uh, so just make sure that you uh, do that our main camera does start over there and it actually pops over to the person uh, the player so if you still have it on the uh, players location where you zeroed it out then it's going to pop probably way over there so let's uh, go ahead and hit play so now the fog is going to come in uh, it's on the camera instead and uh, we're gonna have to redial it so it's not rotating with the player uh, wherever the camera faces the fog faces too but uh, it's all about um, just configuring out how you like it uh, and just adjusting it like it's a bit too fast right now for my liking anyways but yeah I I'm not gonna mess around with it too much um, you guys kind of get the point, at least I hope you guys uh, got the point there. Uh, something else that you can do too is if you uh, want it to be on the level, uh, you can make it into squares here. So the dust system, I'll just uh, bring it, I guess, back up here. Um, you could have it uh, play so that we can see where it is. Uh, you can always copy it and then do it into different sections so duplicate it and then like move the, this one over here and then take both of these uh, where's the other one there this up wasn't it uh, right here edit duplicate both of them and then move them over I think mean, you can kind of make grids out of them too uh, and then that way you can actually cover a lot more so you don't have to do like 6,000 particles it can only be uh, it would be 1200 and you're basically covering the same amount of space uh, so you could do it kind of like that too if you wanted uh, but it's all about just messing around with it and getting what you want for your fog uh, and that will be another way that you can do it too uh, and then sometimes it'll be more denser in some spots so yeah hopefully you guys liked this tutorial on how to do uh, a couple different ways to do fog how to actually make particle systems follow your character uh, through the camera there and uh, do that uh, kind of night shadow thing so uh, yeah I'll see you guys next episode and have a good one